Today I'm going to show you what it's like to stay on Captiva post Hurricane Ian. Come on, let's go. I've seen a lot of videos post Hurricane Ian about Sanibel and Captiva, but what I was looking for was not just, you know, a drive through on the same streets or an aerial view of the same streets over and over again. I wanted to know what it was like to be on the ground, staying here for a week, have compiled a series of different video clips that will show you what it's like to experience the island now, post hurricane in 2023, summer of 2023. The beaches are uh, in great condition here in Captiva. Uh, lots of shells. It seems a little steeper getting from uh, the soft sand into the water. It seems a little steeper, which is a little different. I don't know how, really how to explain it. It just seems like the shape of the shoreline is a little bit different. Some people are worried about uh, walking along the beach. Should you be concerned? Should you wear special shoes? I haven't had any issues walking in and along the beach. We have had no problem. There's been no garbage, uh, I don't know, washed up from the storm. At least here in Captiva, I have not experienced anything except for walking on sharp shells. That's it. So uh, I wouldn't worry uh, too much about that. Just you know, be a normal person and uh, watch where you're walking, right? If you've ever spent any time on Captiva, you know around three o'clock in the afternoon, you're not looking for dolphins, you're not looking for shells, you're looking for a dang hot dog. That's right, I said hot dog, because there's a pontoon boat and it's, it's a business and it's called Joey's. It's owned by a guy named Tom and he comes down the beach. He starts at South Sea Plantation and he brings his boat down every half mile or so and he sells hot dogs. He grills them on the boat. They're nice and hot. Um, I think also frozen Snickers bars, things like that, sodas. And I think it's like a five or six dollar hot dog. And people line up for them. And this year, post Hurricane Ian, Joey's is not coming up and down the beach. I don't think there's enough people. I don't know what happened. I hope he's okay. Super duper hot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ship too. When you visit Captiva, it is a must do trip to visit Jensen's Marina. That's where you get to see up close and personal the manatees that live in the marina area. And so for years uh, in the evening after dinner, um, we would walk up to the marina and the kids just got a kick out of seeing the, the manatees. I did too, as a matter of fact. And just depending on what time of day is when you would see the manatees. I don't know why they like it there, but they just do. And if you visited Captiva, most likely you came to uh, visit Jensen's. Now Jensen's also was the home to um, doing boat rentals. So we have also rented a pontoon boat. I've seen lots of people rent pontoon boats for a few hours and they would just take them out uh, to uh, Kaya Costa or Cabbage Key. And that trip was really fun. Sadly, they're not able to do that. You cannot even get in here to Jensen's right now because they've asked for people not to trespass. And so I won't, I'm a rules follower. I will not trespass onto their property. Um, but I know that it's an iconic place and people always would come to visit. There is the little uh, office area in there where they would sell uh, gear and souvenirs and things like that. You could always see a salty dog uh, working at Jensen's. So it was it was just nice. It was a good place. The internet here is not great. I will tell you that. We don't have any cable TV or internet where we're staying. They did give us a little Neepy, I guess that's how you say it, Neepy hotspot from Verizon Box. That doesn't really work. I've been using my hotspot on my phone 
to periodically check uh, for work stuff and um, but I'm on vacation so it's okay to unplug right because that's what we're here for maybe to unplug if you're expecting to do a lot of uh, stuff on the internet you will not be doing that and I don't know how long that's gonna be there are beautiful homes along the drive up to the tip top of Captiva Island and you can hardly get a peekaboo view of those homes because of the lush landscaping in the past. But since uh, Hurricane Ian, it really tore up the landscaping. Uh, the wind, the salt water, uh, the, the storm surge. I mean, that destroyed so much of the lush landscaping here. But behind me today, a truck pulled up, a big 18-wheeler, I guess that's an 18-wheeler, right? And it pulled up with all these trees about an hour ago when I was starting my walk this morning, probably around 8.30, and it's not even an hour later, and almost all the trees have been removed from the truck, and they're gonna be planting those in this yard and making it look brand new, just like it was a year ago. That's how they do it. I just wanted to show you. The entrance of South Sea Plantation is um, a shopping complex that has uh, a Starbucks and a provision store and some clothing stores. Everything is gone or everything is closed there except for the Starbucks. I'm Allison Newland, broker owner of Platinum Properties of Florida and welcome to the I Love Florida Living channel where I talk about buying and selling real estate and living in Florida because we stay from Saturday to Saturday and then midweek what we would do is we would make a trip down to Sanibel. Uh, we would hit up the beach by the lighthouse and go shelling down there and then stop at Bailey's grocery store and pick up some things that we need or don't need but we would pick up some things that is not an option anymore because bailey's is uh, completely fenced off they're redoing they're going to rebuild the store from what i've read and uh, so that's not an option so the only option uh, is to either go off island which why would you want to do that because traffic coming back is terrible is the Bailey's General Store in town in Captiva and you know they're very friendly they have stuff but like the other day a lot of people were on the hunt for ice and they did run out of ice so you just need to pack more stuff maybe than you normally would because it's just harder to get things here so you should know that Betty Boops is open that is basically the ice cream and dessert shop that is next to the bubble room. We did get um, a couple of pieces of the cake to take back to our house with us for dessert one night. And it was, uh, you can get uh, a slice of cake at $9 a slice of their big, their big honking slices. We got four slices. We had eight people. We had four slices and it lasted for two days. So it's, you know, totally worth it. Whoa, holy cake. It is holy cake. One of our favorite places to come and eat while we are visiting is the Cantina Captiva. That's hard to say if you try and say it fast. Cantina Captiva, Captiva Cantina, I don't know. Anyways, the restaurant portion is not open. The building is still standing here, but they did bring in a food truck and they have a limited menu. You can order and you can sit down on the benches behind me or you can do it uh, as a to-go order, which is what I'm doing. So I'm picking up our to-go food and I'm going to, uh, I don't know, somehow manage to get it back to our house uh, via bicycle and just have a backpack. So I think I'll be able to do it. Anyways, um, we are really excited to be able to uh, support the restaurant while we're here and so should you. So we did go out to dinner to the Mucky Duck and it was really good actually. I'd, I have to say I had actually never eaten there and I know that's weird but I just never went 
and it's iconic. It's an iconic place. If you go to Captiva, Bubble Room, Mucky Duck. Anyways, Mucky Duck is right on the beach. You can eat there and watch the sunset. And people gather there at sunset time. But I just never ate there because, like I said, we we eat mostly at um, the house that we stay at. Ooh, I almost spilled my coffee. And they were pretty well organized with uh, waiting, you know, waiting on tables, taking orders. They were really all helping each other out. They had a system going. It looked like one person was taking all the orders. Some other people were making the drink deliveries. Other people were making the food deliveries. It was not the fastest service, but where am I going? I'm on vacation. I don't care. They were nice. They were friendly and the food was good. And what I will tell you is don't be impatient. Just enjoy and relax. Have a nice time and tip well. Key Line Bistro is not open. That's uh, too bad. It looks like they got some damage and they haven't recovered quite yet. RC Otters, that was open. I have not gone there yet. Just came for a visit to McCarthy's Marina. They're doing uh, beach cruises and lunch. So beach cruises to North Captiva Island and lunch at Cabbage Key, which is awesome. If you haven't been to Cabbage Key, definitely should go on one of these trips. Um, they take you out on a pontoon boat and then you get to enjoy the day. The green flash is closed. The building seems to be, um, like in pretty good shape from the outside, at least as far as what I can see, but it is closed. The Shops by the Cantina Captiva, that's so hard for me to say, and the beach shop, that those that's open, that's all open. Um, I think there's just another clothing store there and we did go in there. Um, the man, Jim, I believe his name is, uh, in the beach shop was so nice. I don't know if he says it to everyone, but he said, so good to see you back. And I said, well, thank you. I don't know if he really recognized me, but <laughs> it, it felt good. It was nice. And I'm glad to be back. That's what I said. I'm glad to be here. Hurry up! <laughs> now I live and work in the greater Tampa Bay area, but if you are looking for information about Captiva, real estate in Captiva or in Sanibel, I can put you in contact with a good referral partner in the area that I know, like, and trust to take a tour of another one of my very favorite beaches. Watch this video. Uh, thanks for having coffee on Captiva with me. <laughs>